I'm Christy Street and I'm going to be talking to university graduate Dan Smith about his creative industry career. This program is being made in the University of Newcastle television production studio and this program is being made by our creative industries students. So let's get started. <laughs> Hi Dan, thanks so much for coming in today. Pleasure. Now you graduated in the visual communication design course at the university in 2016. Yep. Can you tell me what was your experience of being at university? Um, it was a three year course and basically I did it straight out of high school and it was, yeah, pretty good, just in and out. <laughs> Great, so, <laughs> so you went to MacKillop Senior College yep. in Port Macquarie. Yeah. Um, what was school like? What subjects did you do? I did most of the uh, creative subjects, so stuff like art, design, technology and IPT. Uh, also did uh, English and math. Cool. And what did you want to be when you were at school? Uh, what was your vision of your future? I wanted to be an animator, though I didn't really know what that meant at the time. So I had this very uh, naive view of what it would be, so sort of like chilling out with my friends and making jokes all day instead of actually doing work. Why did you choose to come to Newcastle University? Uh, because in comparison to places like Sydney, it's a lot cheaper to live and actually have your degree. In your degree, you would have got introduced to a whole lot of creative areas. What area interested you the most? Uh, well, animation, because obviously it's what I wanted to do. But we were also exposed to stuff like uh, graphic design and, you know, page layout, so editorial stuff and, yeah. And obviously there would have been different types of animation as well. Was there any particular type that grabbed your interest? Uh, well, 2D's always been my uh, favourite sort of animation, which is hand-drawn sort of stuff. Uh, but we were also exposed to 3D animation, which is sort of uh, modern Pixar stuff. And we also did stop motion. Okay, yeah. so, what, but while you were here, there was a, an animation project for a music video. Can you explain what that was all about? Okay, so as part of the Melbourne International Animation Festival that was being held in Newcastle, uh, basically our degree was asked to contribute to a Daniel Johns music video. Uh, Daniel Johns, for those of you who don't know, is... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just decided to speak in the third person. That's okay. Um, yeah, he's the ex-frontman of Silverchair. So basically we got to rotoscope his music video. And, and, and what happened? Uh, basically it was presented as a competition, which I won. Uh, from there I got to work uh, on a short for Sesame Street. Tell me more about that. Uh, yeah, so basically it was a local production with a local director called Kelly Bolton, who is a very talented lady. Uh, yeah, essentially we made a short little rap video aimed at kids like two to four years old. Uh, that was all about babies. Uh, that incorporated stop motion and live action. Well, here are a few other experiences of current creative industry students. I'm studying Viscom Design. Bachelor of Visual Communication Design. I'm studying a Bachelor of Natural History, History Illustration. Illustration. Bachelor Thank of you. Visual Communication Design. I'm doing a design degree. Visual Communication Design. I'm from Newcastle. Uh, I'm from the Philippines. I'm from Orange, so I went to Orange High School. It's a really unique degree, so there's no other degree of its kind in Australia. It's quite an involved course, but it's quite laid back at the same time that we don't have to do exams. It's just only assignments, so it's quite easy going. I really like that. The thing is, back home, I don't really get the chance to study animation or photography, which is the two classes that I'm doing here. So just the whole thing in general is a really new experience and it's actually something I've dreamed of forever. Pretty easy going. Um, it was quite a shock the first semester of first year. Just a different whole lifestyle compared to school. It's not as fast paced as school, um, but it was just great meeting new friends and people. So uh, I'm enjoying it. I'm uh, learning a lot of things about, uh, about uh, graphic design about myself that I don't think I would have learned without the university experience, without uh, the mentors of the lecturers that are here teaching me. So Dan, you've been working on an animated pilot. Can you tell me about how that came about? Okay, so basically Nickelodeon every year asks for pitches, which is essentially uh, you 
sell a particular idea to them that could turn into a series. Um, so yeah, I pitched to them as part of their international shorts program and I happened to win that pitch. So I was uh, given a sum of money and told to go to a particular studio and go and create what I'd pitched. Great, and that was Blair and the Sea Pancake. Yep, that's Which true. we have some footage right here now with that on it. Dial up that math smart stingray brain and solve our rat problem. Okay. The average rat weighs 230 grams. If I swat the edge of this ball at 80 newtons at a 40 degree angle, it will catapult the magic rat safely out the window. Uh, essentially, the pilot is about an Australian girl with her stingray roommate who basically get into a lot of trouble through their shared ineptitude. So I decided to pitch for it and yeah, I got the job. Uh, it is a pretty competitive field because, you know, obviously a lot of people want to work with desirable networks like Nickelodeon. I think it's very much achievable. And why do you think it is that they saw something in, in you? Uh, I think because I'm Australian, I bring a uh, certainly different voice to a very American dominated scene. When you were working on it, did you work out of Port Macquarie or, or did you have to go somewhere else to do the work? I developed the initial pitch in Port Macquarie, but to do the actual pilot, I uh, had to move to Sydney for a while to work with a animation studio. Maybe you could talk us through what it is you do on a day to day basis as an animator. Um, well, I'm not actually an animator, I'm an animation generalist. So okay. essentially that means that I work on everything from storyboards to writing and to voice casting and, you know, doing notes on music. So every day is different. Obviously you do do the animation as well? Uh, I can, but for the Nickelodeon project I didn't. So with this work, you're obviously basing yourself in Port Macquarie at the moment and you are uh, developing more projects. Can yep. you talk to us a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, so basically what I'm doing now is I'm pitching internally within the network. Uh, this is an invite only sort of thing. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing over the next few months. So um, your career, are you pleased with the way it's going? Yeah, I graduated in 2016, as you said. So it's been going pretty good, I think. Cool. Often when you work in creative industries, it's really hard to describe to people what it is you do. So um, how do you go about describing that? Uh, typically, I would just say something really simple like, I make cartoons. Well, here is some footage from the recent graduation ceremony to the creative industry students. Dan, what does the future hold? What is it that you're aiming for in the long run? Uh, ideally, I'd like to work overseas for a period of time and then I'd like to take what I've learned overseas and bring it back to Australia and essentially produce high quality co uh, content. Yeah. And what about somebody who might be sitting, um, you know, trying to work out what they're going to do with their career and they might be sort of thinking about animation? What advice would you give to them? Uh, I'd give them the same advice that every single filmmaker in the world sort of gives and that is go out and make animation or make film. Uh, yeah. Uh, furthermore, I think uh, if you finish your projects, that in itself is a massive boon. Uh, the co-creator of Rick and Morty, uh, Justin Roiland, attributes 80% of his success just to finishing projects. So I think there's a lot to be said for that as well. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Dan, for coming in today. No it's problem. been a pleasure talking to you. Okay. I'm Christy Street. 
Thanks for joining us. You've been watching See What You Could Be.